Uh, good morning everyone. I am welcome you all to this 10th day of CSIR online training. Uh, now today we are uh, going to discuss about methods in biology specifically what are the techniques in molecular biology. Uh, before uh, start the before uh, the section please confirm uh, am I audible? My uh, uh, my slides can be visible to you. Uh, please confirm. Uh, am I audible or uh, and uh, uh, can you see my slides? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, now I am enter into the topic. Okay. Uh, yesterday we discussed some basic techniques in molecular biology how we uh, can extract the uh, DNA and uh, how we extract the RNA and protein uh, one thing I want to let you know sorry uh, at, uh, yesterday I missed the uh, notes uh, for uh, posting in uh, uh, Google classroom today I will send the all the notes uh, sorry for the uh, delay because uh, had involved in some uh, extra things so only I missed that today I will share the all the materials in your Google classroom uh, and mail and um, in this uh, today's section we are uh, going to discuss yesterday we discussed some basic techniques right how the uh, what how to do the electrophoresis how to do the uh, why we want to do the step by step process in RNA extraction, DNA extraction and protein extraction. Today for that uh, pro for that experiment after uh, using the step by step experiment extraction, purification that kind of thing uh, we need to understand uh, uh, after the understanding we need to apply in the experiment. Uh, that are all the basics. The application of the basic experiments is uh, the upcoming sessions uh, in the molecular biology uh, we have n number of techniques uh, sequencing technique and uh, screening technique cloning technique uh, then uh, separation uh, separation of uh, lipids separation of proteins that kind of things are there in the uh, it's uh, this whole paragraph is uh, combine uh, full genetic engineering uh, portion because uh, in uh, this uh, whole paragraph is contains the topics uh, of full genetic engineering uh, using the uh, selectively i am going to explain what are the specific techniques in uh, uh, in the uh, uh, experiment okay uh, first one is uh, for cloning for cloning we need the restriction enzyme it's a question uh, they are rapidly asked in uh, the CSAR examination uh, about the restriction enzymes okay they are uh, not directly asking the restriction enzyme questions they are asking the questions with uh, uh, the recognition site or uh, they are asking the question with the cofactors okay it's a very very important one to understanding uh, if many of them may know about the restriction enzyme uh, specific uh, why uh, I'm, I want to let you know again uh, restriction enzyme will help to cut the plasmid or gene why we want to cut the plasmid or gene after the uh, after the restriction on plasmid only we can do the cloning uh, the replacement happen at the on particular site right uh, that replacement want to uh, make the restriction on particular site uh, particular sites after the restriction alone we can do the uh, cloning it's a basic information uh, using this uh, restriction enzyme we may uh, we made a cut on the plasmid and uh, we can cut the particular genetic region from the host cell that a human or uh, any 
uh, organism then this restriction enzymes are having specific characters okay now first i am going to explain about the type 1 restriction enzyme uh, here they have they are explained type 1 type 2 type 3 restriction enzymes here uh, this is very very important one in the molecular biology uh, because uh, it's not uh, commonly used in the experiment uh, it's there uh, it, it's in a le less um, like uh, rare things are the focused one right um, most that uh, we are not focusing the uh, rapidly using uh, anything here this type 1 restriction enzyme is rarely rarely and less than common use but for specific researchers they used for their research so they are given the experiment with the uh, type 1 restriction enzyme okay this restriction enzymes are helps to uh, cut the more than thousand base base pass away from the recognition site okay in center part you may have the sorry uh, in in the center part you may uh, have the uh, particular uh, restriction site uh, imagine one uh, circle in the circle uh, uh, one point is recognition site uh, in that site you have some amino um, nucleotides you are type you are cutting size recognition site is apart from the recognition site how far of uh, how far away from the restriction site means it's an more than thousand thousand base base plus away from the recognition site uh, it's a non-specific location okay here the, uh, this uh, this is the very very important one uh, okay uh, some researcher did their research in laboratory they uh, they used the restriction enzyme uh, that trends restriction enzyme uh, um, non specifically cut the uh, cut the uh, particular gene uh, so the research may fail okay question now question is please uh, find the what uh, uh, what kind of restriction enzyme they used that question is uh, answer is the type 1 restriction enzyme because uh, that uh, word non specifically that is that cut the restriction enzyme cut the gene it's an uh, one important example on second I tell a researcher did the research in laboratory with the restriction enzymes and doing cloning uh, during the cloning the restriction enzymes is non specifically cut the uh, gene so that gene uh, is not uh, specific not specifically cut cut it uh, because of this uh, uh, unwanted portions in recognition site the uh, cloning is not properly happen now the question is what is the resistance same that scientist used so that kind of questions they are asking the story they first they st tell the story in that story itself you can uh, see the uh, restriction uh, see the uh, concept okay uh, this is a single multifunctional enzyme heterodimers this having the heterodimers heterodimers means uh, it uh, helps to uh, it having two dim two domains then cofactors cofactors is a very very important one in their story uh, in say say exam they are given as a story right uh, in the story uh, they mentioned uh, they added the cofactor as a ATP the keys uh, key, these are all the keywords this non-specific location uh, it's a uh, single single multifunctional uh, enzyme or uh, ATP these three are the uh, these are all the keywords keywords if you find this keywords in the uh, exa in the uh, question you can understand okay they are used the type 1 restriction enzyme these are the kinds uh, okay next um, uh, next uh, we are going to part type 2 restriction enzyme in the type 2 restriction enzyme uh, it cut cut the both strand at the specific usually the 
palindromic recognition site uh, this keyword palindromic recognition site it's a keyword for the type 2 restriction enzyme it can cleave the it can cleave the 4 to 8 base pairs okay uh, and, uh, it's a separate nucleus and methylase it's a restriction enzymes it's a restriction enzyme is a nuclease enzyme and uh, modify with the methylase enzyme it's a homodimer homodimer it's a word very very important uh, this having the homodimer uh, homodimer heterodimer means that uh, uh, nuclear subunits they are representing the nuclear subunits next the cofactor is mg2 plus uh, in this point you may get the uh, confusion okay uh, this having uh, mg2 plus uh, and also type 3 also having M mg2 plus in this type of question you need to understand the uh, this uh, recognition site okay here in this palindromic sequence it cut the type 2 restriction only cut the palindromic sequence between 4, four to 8 bispers alone but this uh, type 3 enzyme is uh, only cut the 24 to 26 bispers it's a very uh, the important thing while uh, uh, they are given uh, say mg2 plus in question you want to understand whether it is uh, type 1 or type uh, type 2 or type 3 uh, these are all the keywords in the type uh, restriction enzyme uh, in uh, in the csir examination they asked widely about uh, this restriction enzyme so only i have mentioned this the restriction enzyme topic is very very important one just uh, uh, I'm once again repeat all the things uh, the most rapidly used most common is type 2 enzyme it helps to cut the palindromic sequence it's a homodimer here keyword is mg2 plus okay it's cut the 4 to 8 base pairs alone that less than common it's a, okay somewhat they are using means type 1 enzyme that type 1 enzyme helps to cut the um, uh, recognition site apart from the recognition site it helps to cut the more than 1000 base pairs uh, here uh, it's a heterodimer the keyword is ATP uh, ATP non-specific these are only keywords of type 1 restriction enzyme type 3 restriction enzyme is rarely used it helps to cut only 22 24 to 26 base pairs uh, here the restriction this is a homodimer heterodimer it helps to uh, helps have activated with the cofactor mg2 plus ions to in this one important word is two recognition sites in a head to head orientation here the uh, that in the dna for dna cleave uh, the cleavage they need two recognition sites in uh, uh, the upper strand and lower strand also this is the restriction enzyme concept uh, here uh, um, uh, they are uh, explained with the restriction enzymes uh, okay here in this concept uh, we need to understand uh, what is the role of the restriction enzyme okay okay they are asking the questions with uh, about the uh, restriction site of hint 3 okay what is the restriction site of hint 3 that cleavage site is the after a it's a sequence a a g c t t so it's sequence for uh, cle uh that hint three cleavage if uh, the enzyme found anywhere in the nucleotide sequence it cleaves uh, the hint three is an enzyme it's searching the the recognition site on the uh, nucleotide if it is finding this uh, uh, the sequence continuous sequence on dna it ready okay with our second search site it's my site i want to cleave it so it's doing the cleavage uh, in the particular portion oh, so uh, it's an uh, uh, here in this it's an uh, input it's a nucleotide after the cleavage it's an output it cleave at one particular site so that is the a after the a it cleaves uh, same at the uh, uh, at the same time it cleaves the uh, another stand also this uh, uh, this stand also cleave, cleaved by the restriction enzyme so it's cleaves at the this position i think it's understandable 
recognition of hint 3 is a a g g t t in this portion uh, like uh, it is cut at the after the a session it makes the sticky end this uh, this is the keyword it makes the sticky end they mask the question with the recognition site a a c c uh, g c t t it is a recognition site uh, among them uh, in this recognition after the first letter a after the a it is a cleavage site uh, uh, this hint 3 makes the uh, sticky and sticky and uh, cleavage uh, these are all the basic things we want to understand uh, with the uh, registration enzymes next small uh, small uh, here it's an small one it's not a small small one s m a 1 it's an i it's not i it's one s m a 1 it's having the registration site c c c g g g it's very uh, you uh, want to memorize this what uh, like uh, uh, i like our uh, uh, abc uh, like our uh, formulas okay hint 3 it having the restriction site a a g c t t uh, small one it having the restriction site uh, uh, c c c g g g uh, whenever this enzymes found this continuous sequence on nucleotide it ready for the uh, ready to cut the particular portion uh, that is the restriction site uh, okay uh, here it's making the blend end uh, it, in this uh, in this image itself we can we can have the question that question is uh, what the enzymes makes the uh, sticky end uh, sorry blend end that is the small one okay next is the echo or one echo or one is and hint three small one by much one these are all the most rapidly using restriction enzyme in laboratory scale so and industry scale also but in small schools students level and researchers level they are rapidly using this restriction enzymes here then e core one e core one restriction site is g a a t t c uh, it's uh, it's also making the sticky and it's cut after the uh, g then bam h one bam h one having the restriction site g g a t c c uh, uh, this uh, i am not stress this three points because uh, first first one uh, you want to understand the concept of restriction enzymes so only I mentioned but all three are very very important uh, they given a sequence in that sequence please uh, find the restriction ends uh, that please find the restriction site and what is the enzyme helps to restrict the particular portion it's maybe the question so the concept is you want to understand and memorize the what is the restriction sites of uh, recognition sites of hint 3 okay uh, this for hint 3 small one and equal one uh, this this the under uh, the memorizing of this is very very important uh, so please take it uh, likewise we have uh, this are only most uh, rapidly asked uh, enzyme so only put these four one alone uh, we have n number of enzymes among them we are using only this uh, four four uh, um, just for example i am explaining four and this four are rapidly asked and this is a exam question so please uh, take it into your brain okay uh, apart from restriction enzyme the restriction enzyme is used for cutting of the particular portion okay now we did the restriction on particular site then we want to uh, uh, make the uh, poly uh, that uh, extension so using the polynucleotide polymerase we, we have the polyethyl end uh, uh, in that end we want to develop the full sequence for that we need to uh, this uh, um, poly uh, this polyethyl uh, polyethyl sequences are uh, uh, actually present after the uh, restrictions and uh, process that may be having the uh, polynucleotide polymerase. This polymerase uh, polynucleotide polymerase uh, having the ability to develop the whole uh, that uh, extension sequences. 
so only they are adding at the particular portion polynucleated poly polymerase is makes the extensions that uh, uh, it's an uh, it's an uh, bifunctional enzyme it can uh, activated by uh, the uh, the addition of cdp and phosphorylation process then another enzyme used in this process is uh, it's a dna ligase first restriction after the cutting we want to uh, make the blend and sticky end okay here in this process you received this uneven uh, uneven uh, uh, strand right so uh, this uneven strand is not uh, suitable for ligation so we needed the even end for that even end we are doing the uh, this uh, using the polynuclear polymerase and develop the sequences and then after this developing we need to do the ligation ligation means is the addition addition of the foreign foreign gene with the that plasmid or restriction site here some parts uh, very, very 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 important thing is uh, dna ligase uh, is uh, seal neck on the backbone of the double strand and after the lagging, lagging strand formation and join the ochre socket fragments it's very important thing here uh, then dna ligase is isolated from the t4 bacteriophage on one information uh, t4 bacteriophage its activators uh, is a atp cofactor here uh, that point uh, in this uh, restriction enzyme restriction enzyme one is activated by the cofactor atp and also here ligase is activated by the ATP uh, in the enzyme from the E. coli is used the uh, NDA as a cofactor uh, the mostly they are using the ATP this uh, mechanism of uh, ligase enzyme ligase enzyme is a protein right that having n number of enzymes uh, amino acids Up among that my um, amino acids here that lies in and uh, uh, it makes the interaction with the AMP that AMP is uh, interacted with the uh, sequ guanidine sequence and it interact with the, the nucleotide, se nucleotide present on the DNA. If there is an phosphoryl uh, that uh, AMP uh, addition of ATP that have the phosphorylation process happen at the particular po particular uh, happen between the ligase enzyme and the DNA strand uh, AMP that makes the uh, attachment between both the restricted site and the native plasmid strand it's a non uh, specific interaction why we want to ligating with the chicken blend end so if there is no blend end there is no problem directly it's attached if there is a uh, sticky end we need to transient based by structure we need uh, here the space is there so dna ligase is seal the discontinuity okay uh, after the ligation we want to understand uh, where we want to ligate uh, now they discussed the restriction enzyme and the uh, restriction enzyme and all about the uh, um, ligation enzymes enzymes used in the cloning after this cloning we how we can uh, where we we want to we want to restrict where we want to ligate uh, for that i'm going to explain the steps uh, vectors vectors are the carriers this carriers are helps to uh, take over our our specific gene this specific gene is the are uh, placed at the our uh, recognition site okay this carrier carrier uh, carrier means it's uh, uh, one uh, support for uh, move the uh, take the gene in this we having the plasmid and bacteria page uh, for uh, that uh, if there is um, plasmids plasmids is a very very important concept in the uh, in the uh, uh, cloning and the molecular biology techniques the car the plasmids are helps to carry th carry carrying the all um, uh, 
uh, it helps to carrying the all the informations uh, all the genetic information that uh, of uh, particular specific gene uh, character of one species to another species here uh, that uh, plasmid this round circles uh, the uh, the bigger uh, round circle is called as the nucleus circle the small small uh, things are the plasmid uh, uh, plasmid uh, dnas the uh, the bigger one is a nu plasmid nu genomic nu genomic dna that smaller plasmid dna we here for all the experiments or genetic experiments uh, now we are for cloning experiment we are focusing on the plasmid dna so only first step of the cloning is plasmid dna isolation uh, this after receiving this plasmid dna we need to do the res uh, restriction uh, we want to cut down the particular portion these are all the things for that we need the plasmid this plasmids are having the two uh, different characters okay uh, this non integrative plasmid non integrative plasmid means it's not integrated with the nucleus genome uh, this is very important thing and uh, we want to understand uh, non integrative protein na this non sorry plasmid this non integrative plasmid it not integrated with the nucleus genome nucleus chromosome nucleus dna it's as such present in the cell and carrying the character that is uh, in each and every cell division it's follow up it's one thing and then another one is the episome this episome is the integrative plasmid uh, once you are uh, re re construct the plasmid and uh, inject in the bacteria means that plasmid is incorporate uh, with uh, uh, dna uh, nucleus DNA. So it's uh, this small one is uh, uh, it's uh, incorporated with the our uh, nucleo nucleo nuclear uh, genome that uh, uh, genomic uh, DNA. So after the cell division, it's following it's uh, cell cell division itself that carry over the the nucleus. Okay. Next is the how to transfer uh, how it is transfer from cell to cell this plasmids are uh, this plasmids are uh, um, move, move towards move, move from the one one cells donor cells to receptor cells it may happen by the uh, the attachment of cell cell, cell attachment it's so one type of uh, transfer here uh, the outer layer is moved to the another bacteria another receptor cell and form the nucleus uh, then another uh, the genomic uh, bacterial phage bacteria phage is a very very important thing uh, in the carrying the uh, dna particle once uh, the bacteria phage is uh, low and attached on the cell surface it's releasing its plasmid phage dna molecule this uh, phage dna molecule is uh, after undergone the uh, replication process it's help or uh, the the proteins in the cell itself helps to produce the caps uh, that capsid and other compounds after that that arrangement it happen this process is happen in our uh, uh, human uh, coronaviral infection because first step first step they are attaching on the cell surface and enter into the releasing the particle to human and that is get replicated in our body the after the replication the uh, they are uh, they are producing the protein components in the human cell itself and after the rearrangement it automatically release over out and this is the bacteriophage concept where we have in the uh, how the bacteria page enter into the uh, bacterial cell bacteria phage is the, the viral viral particle enter into the bacterial chromosome the dna is released there uh, DNA uh, that uh, virus is released the DNA to bacteria uh, the then the circulation lambda DNA circulation happen in the bacteria cell that was after the circulation circularization it's uh, incorporate the with the nuclear genome and divi cell division happen then uh, as usual all the process are uh, similar to uh, the infection cycle then uh, another example is m13 phage receptor m13 receptor is it's uh, another one different type here uh, 
the lambda fudge makes bacteria fudge makes the cell destroy destroy it uh, after the cell dis, uh, cell wall breaking only it release over the uh, native cell that uh, hum, uh, that uh, host cell but m13 fudge uh, it's not uh, uh, damage the host cell here once releasing the dna the dnas are um, replicated in uh, the m13 dna is replicated in the uh, bacterial system after the <coughs> uh, well that cell is uh, undergone the cell division the bacterial cell undergone the cell division after the cell division itself that bacteria is having uh, the plasmid that uh, foreign particle foreign dna plasmid here the dot uh, that uh, produced cells are released to m13 particles the outer cell outer of outer side of the cell uh, so bacterial cell also we uh, they are produced the uh, the host particle the host particle we need only nucleic acid alone that nucleic acids are released by the that bacterial cells that receiving that they are receiving all the bac uh, bacterial plasmids and for the, for their survival here that all process happen in the bacterial cell and after the destroy alone it comes out it's a bacteria phage in the m13 partic in the m the m13 bacteria it's not destroying in the uh, cell human cell that human cell or bacterial cell these are all producing only producing the nuclear dna of m13 in the bacteria cell only producing the new uh, that uh, plasmid dna or genomic dna any nucleic acid alone in the uh, bacterial cell uh, these are all the some uh, uh, incorporation steps okay uh, here first we studied about the uh, pect, uh, that uh, plasmids right this plasmids having the different type first is we have discussed about the plasmid then we have discussed about the bacteria phage these both are all the carriers carriers for the cloning using this uh, carrier molecule uh, we can do the uh, we, we are they are divided for uh, divided into different types this uh, is uh, this i am we divide different types this are the major rapidly using uh, types bacterial artificial chromosome what is bacterial artificial chromosome this bacterial artificial they are uh, the bacterial system having the uh, uh, chromosome right we just altering particular say particular portion that is the artificial that made up of some special character made up of with uh, made up with some specific character okay what is the specificity the bacteria f factor and origin of replication is the uh, engineered in this artificial chromosome bacterial artificial chromosome having the specific bacteria f factor and then it having the uh, origin of replication okay this helps for all the uh, basic process in uh, uh, plasmid DNA isolation and uh, all other uh, expressions. Another one is the yeast artificial chromosome. This uh, uh, yeast artificial chromosome is most widely used uh, thing and most widely used uh, for the experiment. This uh, uh, after the mammalian ma 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 artificial chromosome is not widely used. Then plasmids we studied right that uh, uh, plasmids are no, found in bacteria that is the small nucleic acid sequence. Then uh, this uh, phage having the bacteria phage that is M13 phage something. Okay, next is the uh, casmid. Casmid is having the uh, bacteria phage with the cos site. This cos site is uh, uh, 
having uh, this corset having a specificity of size is uh, 25 to 35 to 25 to 35 uh, here uh, that size is also very very important because we, we are not uh, allow, we are not taken this uh, uh, small plasmid for higher bigger uh, gene right based on the gene size that uh, cloning gene size alone we need to uh, select the vector vector selection is very important if you are in inserting a small gene means that small plasmid is enough if you want, if you want to insert the uh, larger ne larger nucleotide larger gene means we, we need the larger plasmid okay next uh, we are entering into the our uh, next portion that is the cdna library construction for cdna library construction alone we need this vectors this vectors are helpful for this cdna library construction so only we are discussed about the plasmids vectors those things application of that plasmid studies restriction enzymes like that applied study is the cdna library construction uh, now hereafter we are discussing about all the application method uh, screening method application uh, dna library construction cdna library construction sequencing technique that are the very very important thing in the cdna library construction uh, here first step is we want to isolate the mrna sequence mr this uh, this is the uh, after this happen after the cloning after selection of the gene with the plasmid we are going to do the uh, we are first uh, grown up the cells in laboratory scale after that we want to isolate the mrna sequence after that mrna sequence isolation we need to do the reverse transcription or uh, transcriptase process this reverse transcriptase helps to develop the rna into dna after the conversion of dna that dna was in, in, in inserted into the bacterial cells that made that uh, recombinant dna is incorporate into the bacterial cell that bacterial cells are grown uh, with the plas uh, and after that we can isolate the plasmid and purify here this plasmid having the specific gene not carrying all the gene because that plasmid is uh, uh, in this step we are inserted one specific first step itself we are inserted the specific gene not uh, incorporate all the gene so uh, the, uh, in the plasmid that the carrier carrier having carrier having one specific gene in the uh, active site that is uh, in the recognition site other than the recognition that uh, the ligated site ligated site all the sequences are same very very notable one during the DCDNA library construction in first step itself we are doing the uh, incorporation of uh, gene with the plasmid that in that in that plasmid that genes are maybe isolated from the all many many other uh, species so in here we are having the similar external part the extra parts are similar the particular one side is modified that alone that alone having the various gene so we are uh, doing the plasmid isolation and then see do sequencing this is the sequencing output this is the pictorial representation of uh, the first is an mrna it's hybrid with the oligo oligo tt uh, primers so then after this transcription process happen transcription process helps to produce the cdna cdna is means uh, it's a complementary to the mrna to uh, helps to understand the water uh, 
in the restrictions removal of uh, in this step uh, after this transcription step we need to uh, remove the rna because that if there is an rna we may get uh, it's not suitable to no it's not uh, uh, correct for the sequencing so what in this step what we are doing first uh, we have the mrna mrna to we are uh, producing the cdna mrna uh then uh, addition uh, transcription transcription process after the transcription process we are we we got the uh cdna complementary dna this dna having the full sequence that is uh, the wanted thing so we need to remove the rna that rna is unwanted thing so we removed it now here that uh, we have the sequence right we want to do the PCR analysis. So we are adding the primers. This prime or uh, oligo primers or uh, this synthesis the complementary strand. After the complementary strand synthesis, there was the double strand formation, double strand DNA. This double strand DNA carries the a uh, specific gene of interest. This gene of interest, but it produced a sequence is are uh, bound with the e cor1 linkers because in this step they are using the e cor1 why means that in imagine here there was an one plasmid that is restricted with the e cor1 uh, that means that particular uh, portion cutted portion having the uh, uh, nucleotides for the e cor1 so in this step we want to do the like uh, linkers with uh, e cor1 here that is an or gene of interest sites are we both sites are make up with e cor1 restriction nucleotides now uh, we can uh, make the then we are uh, then we added the uh, that enzyme that makes the uh, sticky and already there was a sticky and sticky and blend and on the a uh, plasmid is cut site right uh, previous just imagine that e cor1 cut the restricted uh, the plasmid that was then uh, uh, cut space with the sticky and blend and now in this step we got this uh, uh, particular uh, uh, foreign gene incorporated uh, sequence the, here we want to ligate this portion with the or a plasmid after that plasmid we are injected the plasmid into uh, um, the bacterial cell that uh, after the bacterial cell we want to understand whether dominant or not if there is a recombinant means that foreign particle uh, is uh, lo loaded in the plasmid that uh, that i come think here another here first one is e start it's a normal plasmid concept first thing cd in the cdna library cons construction we are using the normal uh, plasmid it's a plasmid based concept other th other time we we may use the cosmid cosmid is a it's a having the cos site at their site cos cos the cos site at the uh, genome at the plasmid in the genome sequence uh, in the plasmid sequence this uh, okay now we are entered into the yeast artificial chromosome it's an uh, automatically replicating sequence uh, its element uh, its elements requires for the uh, preservation of yeast artificial chromosome in the uh is the cells this helps to containing the at artificial uh, uh, chromosomes constructed based on the centromere telomere this having the centromere sequences because uh, this uh, artificial genome artificial chromosome um, uh, developed at their uh, uh mitotic level that marked genes on the each arm that are selectable in the uh, yeast because that having the tryptophan and the uracil 
this tryptophan and aerosol is a very very important thing in the heat artificial chromosome experiment these are all the independent uh, uh, things it, this restriction uh, this uh, uh, yeast artificial chromosome is having the unique restriction site that can be uh, the, ins the, the helps to reinserting of uh, DNA be uh, the base bus five for five hundred base bus long gene. In the uh, uh, previously I mentioned uh, this selection of artificial chromosome that the selection of the plasmid is very important thing. If you are chosen the small means you small plasmid the big uh, if you are if you want to the longer or big uh, DNA means gene gene of interest means you need to select the uh, larger uh, larger plasmid so this is the helpful to uh, inserting of 50 B long uh, gene another one is the bacterial artificial chromosome uh, here uh, that uh, uh, experimental point of view the bacter bacterial artificial system helps having the n number of uh, the genes on their site and n number of the uh, restriction site also restriction site uh, this uh, each and every enzymes have you can add any enzymes you can uh, that is the, your uh, depends on your experiment if you want to cut the hint region you can cut the hint region if you want sol region that you, want, you can cut the sol region this depends on your uh, gene of interest and your uh, experimental uh, depends on your experiment this uh, artificial enzymes helps to carry the 50 kb of case uh, dna so only here i mentioned it helps to uh, 50 kb be, uh, sorry 500 kb length uh, gene length uh, gene it carries the 500 kb length gene apart from this uh, uh, it's the artificial chromosome and bacterial artificial chromosome we have the uh, cosmid phosmid these all things in the gene expression main important thing is bacterial artificial chromosome and it artificial chromosome plasmid these three are most widely used experiments some of the experiments because many of the laboratories don't have the safety level so they are uh, won't allow the bacteria uh, bacteria forge system uh, this artificial chromosomes bacterial artificial chromosomes experiments are, are rapidly allowed and happen in the research laboratories uh, so one thing of uh, small explore the uh, cloning here it's in a plasmid is having the f plasmid uh, f plasmid it's cut within the lacquer gene uh, here the notable word f, f plasmid helps to cut the within lacquer gene with the recognition site inject the that uh, specific gene this yellow one is the specific gene of interest here it, we can add add it in the particular portion so yeast artificial uh, L is electroporated into the cell for the after the plasmid construction we need to uh, inject the plasmid in the cell right bacterial cell for that we need to do the electroporation electroporization or chemical uh, induction process in the in why we want to do this electroporation means this during the electroporation that cells are string and relax their uh, cell uh, cell wall so there was the small holes are uh, for the entry of uh, entry of the foreign DNA that construction DNA one test tube they are taken the empty competent cells that is the uh, that cell don't having any plasmid that have only nuclear cells uh, after that uh, that cells are loaded with the plasmid in the, by electrophoresis or chemical induction method once after the injection of plasmid into the bacterial cell we need to do the induction this induction helps to uh, express the protein that expression of protein is uh, of 
uh, is helps to get the more product uh, before that we want to uh, do the confirmation test confirmation test means uh, whether that uh, gene is inserted into the plasmid or the whether the plasmid is injected to the bacterial cell we want to confirm that so they are doing the uh, if there is some bacteria that is the plasmid we are doing the x called iptg medium induction medium this in this medium they are uh, if they are if you are getting the uh, white screen white uh, colonies means that white colonies are having uh, uh, that white colonies are transformed that is the recombinant plasmids that is the recombinant strains because uh, why because that uh, first step itself they mentioned right that f plasmid it's an f plasmid uh, cut which, ha which happen at the lac is gene if there is the lac is gene present in the cell that helps to convert the x call to uh, into blue blue color product so that makes the blue color so this blue color explains uh, okay which having the which don't having the plasmid uh, the uh, that that plasmid having the lac is gene that lac is gene producing the that uh, converting the x call otherwise if there is some pl rest modified plasmid means there was no lac is gene because we are cu cut cut down at, at the early stage itself so there is no lac is gene there is no conversion of x call that is looks like white color hmm. here uh, we are entering into the sequencing right after this uh, co colony separation we want to do the sequencing in the sequencing we we are having uh, uh, experiment is called as the uh, uh, for dna library construction itself before the uh, sequencing we want to construct the and store the CD, cdna library so we are having the chromosome walking it's a experiment have uh, they are did in uh, many laboratories it's uh, this is a in the in this uh, chromosome walking in this step or uh, till this step we are we follow this uh, experiment okay uh, it's just imagine imagine uh, they are taken particular gene from any species many species and inject with the plasmid do the plasmid steps and after this step they are have if there is we are uh, understand okay this gene having the pro b this gene having the pro b that likewise we are uh, we are they are did uh, many uh, rapid experiments this using this experiment we can understand the okay this portion having the a gene this portion having the b gene that is the experimental understanding and evaluation it's happen after the uh, cloning and uh, separation process okay uh, this after every experiment we need to confirm whether it is having the uh, uh, recombinant dna or not so only there one is the blue white screening method another one is our uh, genome uh, or uh, this uh, um, membrane based method here first is the uh, that colonies are formed on the cell surface we uh, in the medium surface we uh, paste over the nitrocellular membrane uh, paste the uh, nitrocellular membrane over to the medium here the dots are there right the single strand forge dna on the filter membrane here there is a dna that uh, plaques formed the plaques means that is don't having the cell surface it's only the uh, dna molecules that dna molecules is uh, it's covered with the nitrocellular membrane that nitrocellular membrane automatically carries the single strand dna this forged if there is a forged dna after this after the uh, this membrane after the this membrane is taken into auto radiography if there is the illumination happen and the uh, in the dots that that having the 
complementary proof that having the recombinant proof. Uh, after that, why after this cloning, after this uh, cDNA library construction, we having the n number of genes. This genes want to carry, uh, we want to sequenced by the uh, sequenced for further understanding, further future analysis. So sequencing, they are did the sequencing techniques. In this sequencing technique, uh, they are um, follows many. Uh, technique uh, first maximum Gilbert, me Gilbert method this maximum Gilbert method is a maximum used method uh, so only they uh, so it, I mentioned here first is having the sequential steps first step is a selection of and the collection of double standard DNA we want to label at the end uh, just for understanding we want to label at the end then cut down at the cut down with the restriction enzyme as usual again we are going to use the e core one sum anything any uh, restriction enzyme that restriction enzymes cut at the particular portion so we have the strand uh, oh, we have the one strand so, remove the one part one portion take the one particular portion so here this is a single strand take that single strand uh, each and every step we want to uh, add the single step alone it's not only the one step in this between this uh, particular po particular point we need to do the rapid steps after the removal of this turn uh, we need to add it in uh, one particular test tube in that test tube uh, the same the same DNA is added to all all the test tube right one strand that one strand added in all uh, test tube that one that is having similar one particular four four tubes are having same D D DNA in it. that same DNA having the same nucleotide here in this experiment they are adding G A plus G G plus T and C this separately adding this nucleotides after the addition of this nucleotides uh, we are uh, doing the gel electrophoresis that uh, electrophoresis in the auto, auto or under ad, auto radiography if we are getting the band at G okay that C is bound at uh, uh, this uh, final one this C at uh, make interact with the strand if there is a stand is formed means there is a G because G and G only make an interaction right there is a G so it's an understanding image here uh, you can uh, the four samples are loaded if you got the if you got the band at one side means okay there was a C component another one thing is uh, uh, here G and C and T right C and T but you got the band at once one 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 place not get in this A so in this from the first line image itself you can understand here it here they added the C and T but only got the band at the C so there is no T just understanding uh, first in first here they have first lane first lane they are uh, they are same strand with the uh, four uh, different uh, nucleotides in this nucleotides we having uh, after the nucleotide addition we did the gel electrophoresis that in this gel electrophoresis we can understand whether the DNA uh, uh, we can understand whether the sequence having uh, C R T or G R T we, 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 that may carries any um, any nucleotide just understanding through the addition ad added this nucleotide in this test tube uh, in the in this test tube we added only C right uh, if uh, we so we can't get any other nucleotides it's a very very important thing here we having first step we having cut DNA 
that cutter DNA is uh, added in the wall test tube. In the wall test tube, we added uh, the nucleotide sequence, particular specific nucleotide sequence, TNTPs. TNTPs uh, we added. This TNTPs are uh, bound with the opposite strand and produce the extension. If there is uh, interaction happen, means there was the band appears. Otherwise, there is no bond, no band. Okay. Uh, then uh, you uh, here in this image you got the G, and also here you got the G. It's an understandable one. Uh, we used this image alone, we can tell what is the amino acid is there. Uh, what is the nuclear nucleic acid is there? Uh, it's an another tech, another uh, pictorial representation for understanding. Here, uh, that uh, strand is labeled with uh, P. While adding the uh, uh, A plus G, it ca it can uh, interact at uh, this particular portion and make the band. Then second down is uh, in this step there uh, this image is uh, produced based on the interaction of interaction of uh, uh, the strand and add a nucleic uh, TNTPs. Another one is the Sanger method. Sanger method is a very very easiest method and it can be uh, directly calculate evaluating the sequences. First, we want uh, the the primer designed is a very important thing uh, because uh, the strand is added with the primers. This primers helps to extend all the uh, 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 whole sequences. So, technique uh, first step is um, the single strand addition of the DNTPs. This DNTPs helps to uh, develop all the uh, stand then denaturation this after this template receiving of template we want to do the add the primer this primers are very specific that primers are a uh, helps to uh, extend the DNA molecule uh, primers are helps to produce the larger quantity of sequences that helps to piece uh, helps in the PCR amplification so in this step, uh, in the Sanger sequencing step, they are using the primers for their uh, primer for their extension. And then as a PC, my PCR experiment, in this PCR experiment, first one is the denaturation. Two steps are divided. Then annealing, annealing. Before the annealing, we are add, We want to add the uh, primers. The primers are extended. That is the extension. That's the first cycle. It's repeated, repeatedly happen, rapidly happen. It's an very one example. If you add, if you were start the experiment with one uh, strand, that is divided, divided, divided for the n number. Depends on cycle. The rate of PCR cycle is two power n. You get the more sequences. It's another example alone. Uh, here the thing is uh, denaturation temperature is 95 degree and uh, the annealing temperature is between the or uh, PCR annealing for uh, temperature is uh, 6, 6, oh, one second I will repeat. Uh, take the temperature with uh, 60 to 45 to 60 and then uh, that uh, temperature for uh, the DNA polymerase activity. These are all the things uh, very importantly focus on uh, uh, focus in the PCR uh, experiment. PCR experiment is uh, very important thing in sequencing because uh, every sequencing step is start up with the PCR alone. Other, without PCR, we can't understand, we can't sequence any, um, we can't uh, sequence any uh, se genome sequence, gene. The, so, that is very, very important thing. 
um, okay in this uh, extension of uh, this in the in extension process we are at, we are having the dna polymerase this dna polymerase uh, uh, is added based on the amount of dna uh, if there is a larger quantity of uh, st uh, dna strand means we need uh, we need to add the larger quantity of the uh, dna polymerase uh, the, it depends on the uh, nucleotides a and t a t and g c present in o present in the sample uh, the activation temperature of uh, that uh, dna polymerase is the 70 90 72 degrees celsius in this 72 degrees celsius alone it's get at it won't work out um, before that uh, we want to understand whether uh, that uh, Primers are uh, annealed, uh, primers are attached on the uh, cell or uh, DNA strand. The first one is the DNA 95 degrees Celsius. Uh, the primer annealing, it's uh, uh, it's a second step. It's happen at the 65 degrees Celsius, 45, 42 degrees, 65 degrees Celsius. Another one is the extension of primers. This happen at the um, temperature 72 degrees Celsius. And the application of the RNA primer and uh, PCR chain reaction. We are uh, using the R R amplified and or not. RFLP technique is a very very important technique. Then AFLP techniques. Then another AFL AF in the AFLP technique, uh, the digestion of uh, DNA molecule cellular adds one uh, with uh, more restriction enzymes. One or more restriction enzyme ligations of restrictions of sites. Specific adapters are added. Uh, after this adapter process, uh, after the restriction and ligation, we can do the poly PCR primer, PCR amplification. After the amplification, we want to do the uh, gel visualization. Here, this is the restriction enzymes uh, cut at the site. After the restriction, we want to the ligate with the gene. After the ligation, we we, we develop on specific selective uh, sp stand, right? Develop a stand. We want to select a primer for. Uh, the newly synthesized uh, strand after that we want to do the pcr amplification using this pcr amplification we are uh, labeled with the fluorescence label uh, fluorescence molecule the, using this fluorescence molecule we can understand uh, we can follow all the uh, steps uh, here the uh, other direct labeling here that is uh, in the fluorescence labeling we have different types that is la direct labeling and indirect labeling in this direct labeling we having the uh, after the reverse transcription process we are adding the uh, fluorescence with the fluorescence molecule with the dtps uh, in the, uh, the we we are adding the dntps in a pcr right uh, in the pcr self itself we are added the fluorescence molecule with the with the DT, dntps so the dntps are added over uh, the uh, complement strain uh, producing the strain in the in the reverse trans the direct labeling is happen at the reverse transcription step itself in the indirect labeling where that uh, dntps are uh, holding the uh, the conjugate uh, that uh, uh, standard the the dntps having the fluorescent interaction site alone the direct labeling that in dntps carries the fluorescence in the indirect labeling the dntps carries the only site the fluorescent labeling site so after the transcription process uh, the fluorescence is labeled separately and uh, output happen uh, this is the final output of uh, the primer development step then uh, next generation sequencing is the application of pcr method in this application of pcr method we having the uh, uh, application in the uh, medical field in many having application uh, this next in this next generation sequencing first step is the uh, dna fragmentation an adapter ligation then pcr then enzymatic acti uh, the fluorescence uh, the indicator uh, then prepare the microarray uh, this is the method the we selected the larger sequence uh, cut down into small pieces 
after the uh, small piece identification we want to overlapping overlapping uh, is helps to the this is the short gain sequencing technique after using this overlapping we can get the assembled sequence it's a short gain sequence sequencing technique larger dna fragmented to small small dna that sequence that small small sequences are separately sequ dnas are uh, separately sequenced and so it's uh, undergone the overlapping after the overlapping we get the assembled dna here uh, uh, this is the reverse transcriptase process for mrna synthesis the mr in the mrna synthesis we having the strand with uh, in the in this mrna strand we have the uh, oligo ttp primers in the, using this oligo tt primers incubate with the reverse transcriptase enzyme so this is the complementary dna uh, after the complementary dna receiving we will need to remove the mrna this complementary standards develop the uh, uh, that uh, uh, that second stand alone this second stand we having n1 uh, we having the loop this loop is cut down by with the n nuclease enzyme in this mrna transcription reverse transcription four enzymes are very very important reverse transcriptase uh, that rna removal that is mrna removal then DNA polymerase, then S1 nucleus. These are all the very very important thing in the or uh, reverse cDNA cDNA conversion. This cDNA conversion is very very important in the sequencing. This sequencing uh, is uh, application of the PCR method. PCR method without PCR we can't sequencing. Uh, in, you we may listen the uh, listen this word RT PCR in the corona period because many of the uh, uh, coronavirus can be 100% con uh, confirmed only by the rt pcr this rapid test kit is uh, only 92% and 93% alone but this uh, uh, rt pcr technique is only uh, the 100% accurate accurate method okay first receiving the samples from the patients they are isolate the uh, dna then uh, isolate the isolate the mrna sequence of the virus and develop the complementary DNA. After the development of complementary DNA, they did uh, the uh, seek, uh, PCR reaction. After receiving, accumulate after receiving the accumulated uh, sequ accumulated uh, uh, co uh, sample, they did the sequencing. Then se after the sequencing, they are receiving okay whether it is uh, whether the cell uh, the uh, the their patients is uh, corona or not. Uh, the application then another uh, uh, after the sequencing the uh, microarray is a very important thing uh, in the in this microarray cells are collected mrna is collected from the cells that are loaded on the uh, mrna one strand one uh, board that uh, if there is an uh, if there is an uh, mrna uh, d uh, wanted dna that uh, make a bound interaction on the site that makes a fluorescence and very uh, one uh, another thing which uh, here uh, here this is a normal cell this cell having the mrna and they are synthesis the cdna with the green fluorescence here it's a cancer cancer cell this cancer cell having the specific gene of interest expression the normal cell some genes are suppressed but cancer cell some genes are expressed this expressed genes are bound with uh, uh, that produced as a mr labeled with the uh, red fluorescence here in this uh, in this uh, board here they having the uh, probe probe only specific for uh, that gene in this normal cell the gene is not expressed but in the uh, cancer cell it is highly expressed so uh, it, this is the experiment this is the microarray board this microarray board having the complementary stand for specific gene this uh, if there is uh, there in, if there is interaction happen in no. the mic if there is any uh, interaction happen on the membrane uh, that membrane uh, makes uh, fluorescence that is the dna microarray concept uh, it's an how the image is observed two methods are there also uh, then another DNA microarray technique is a spotted method. In this spotted method, here they having uh, 
uh, board with uh, complementary DNA and uh, here the, they are in the tip of the pen they having the DNA. If there is an complementary DNA means that is uh, that make an interaction and released from the tip otherwise it will not interact the tip. Uh, is the uh, in this till now we discussed uh, from the uh, basic experiment to the ex advanced experiment from the basic experiment we are understand what is the enzymes used in the uh, experiment what is the uh, what is plasmid what is yeast artificial ex chromosome bacterial artificial chromosome using these uh, 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 the words plasmid cosmid uh, enzymes you develop the cloning after the cloning we need to understand construct the cdna library then after the cdna for the dna for the cdna library construct we want to do the pcr application so we rflp aflp rapd and the pcr tech rtpt rt pcr is the most important thing happen in the experimental level using the application of this pcr is the sequencing technique sanga sequencing maximum gilpat sequencing uh, and shotgun sequencing are the major thing uh, this using this uh, uh, this uh, now once again I want to tell this let you let you know because uh, the Sanka sequencing, Sartkan sequencing and uh, ma maximum Gilbert sequencing they must ask the question from this three topic the, so that this three topics is a very very important thing uh, please refer more uh, about this uh, researchers on the uh, uh, this uh, uh, sequencing technique apart from this techniques uh, the application is uh, one important thing that application part is the microarray uh, dna microarray this mi microarray happen in the two uh, two way it's an one is normal uh, cdna probed uh, chip T cdna probed chip having the single strand of dna uh, if you having the complemented dna that makes an interaction and it make a color Another one is the tip based, probe based method. Uh, tomorrow we are going to discuss about the immunological techniques. Uh, today, uh, previously, last two days, yesterday and today we discussed the uh, molecular techniques, genetic techniques. Tomorrow we will going to discuss about the immunological techniques and the uh, molecular visualization tools. Use UV, UV visible, fluorescence, NMR, X ray crystallography. These are all the small, small portions, though, so no problem. We will cover with uh, as soon as possible in one hour. Thank you, everyone. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, uh, please uh, rise in, uh, uh, in this chat box. I will send the answers to your uh, uh, a with the previous day. Last two days, we have a bending questions. With that question, I will send the answer. Thank you for your patience.